joins are useful for creating relationships that may not exist or might be different from the one that you require in your data model. So the classic example of this is, of course, you've got a chart and you want to show all years or quarters or months represented whether or not there may be data for that time period. In a crosstab, it might be fine to only show time periods with data, but in a chart, you might even want to highlight the fact that there was no revenue or orders placed or units shipped during a particular time period. So we'll demonstrate how you can create a join within the reporting tool. So in our case today, the client wants a report that allows them to see only orders that contain a user-specified product. But in order to perform some market basket analysis, they also need to analyze the other items on those orders. We need one query to pull all orders with the product and another query with the complete order information or all products on those orders. We'll begin with a list report and navigate to our Query Explorer, drag a join object from our toolbox just on top of the query that's populating the list. We'll also bring in the two queries that we're going to join. We'll name the first query product for our user specified product and we'll name the second query complete orders. We'll name the query that's populating the list complete orders with product. It's always a very good idea to name your queries, but especially when you're joining queries or using sets so that it's very clear what the purpose of each query is. Let's double click our product query and from our order query subject we'll bring in order number. Again this query will determine all orders that had a specified product. So from our products query subject, we're going to bring in product into the detail filters pane and create a parameterized filter for product. Next, we will populate our complete orders query. Again, we'll bring in order number. We'll also bring in date. We'll bring in product. And from sales, we'll bring in quantity and revenue. Next, we will create our join definition. We'll double click on the join object and click new link to create a link between order number and order number between both queries. We'll set our cardinality. Make sure when you're setting the cardinality that you really pay attention to the relationship impact. That will let you know what type of join you're creating. And in our case, we're setting our cardinality definition to say that each record in our specified product query can have one or more records in the complete order query, right, because an order could have multiple products. But for each record on our complete order query, there is one and only one record on our specified product query. And click OK. Next, we'll go to the query that's populating our list and bring in all of our data items. And then to our report page, we'll bring these items also into the list.
We're going to group by order number and date. We'll sort product in ascending order. And we'll also add summaries to our quantity and revenue columns. And let's run the report. We're going to select bare edge for our product and click OK. And so now when I run my report, I see only orders that contain the product bare edge. But I can also see all of the other products that were on those orders.